hi beautiful people of the most high god so um as you know god had me put together the tents of judah will be saved first he has me put together the gathering of israel the other tribes right so don't think that um the first fruits the 144,000 videos not coming up but God just wants me to let the other the children of Israel to know that he's gathering them as well and because he knows the hearts and the minds of people and that they were kind of feeling left out of that of him saving the tents of Judah first but he says fear not for he is with thee he's going to save you too and he loves you and that's what he wants you to know. And this is for the gathering of Israel. And I'll start here with Doctrine and Covenants 101 and 11. All right. My indignation is soon to be poured out without measure upon all nations. And this will I do when the cup of their iniquity is full. And in that day, all who are found upon the watchtower, or in other words, all my Israel shall be saved. All right, and they that have been scattered shall be gathered, and all they who have mourned shall be comfort, comforted, and all they who have given their lives for my name shall be crowned. Therefore, let your hearts be comforted concerning Zion, for all flesh is in my hands. Be still and know that I am God. Okay, children of Israel. And we're going to go back to some more scriptures. We're going to go back here. The gathering of Israel. Jeremiah 31 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, O, you, o ye nations, and declare it in the isles of far off. Isles means islands. Because his people were carried beyond the sea. That's what Caribbean means. Carried beyond the sea. All right. They were scattered, carried beyond the sea. Caribbean afar off and say he that scattered israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock so he that scattered israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock now i say 11 and 12 and he that and he shall set up an ensign for the nations you know god always saves his people by someone he saved the children of Israel out of the hand of Phil the Philistines by the hand of David. He saved the children of Israel out of Pharaoh's hand by the hand of Moses and Aaron, right? He shall set up an end sign for the nations. You know, we've been going through the scriptures who's the end sign who God's raising up to save the children of Israel now. It's daughter Zion. And he shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Zechariah 9 and 16, And the Lord their God shall save them in the, that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as the stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. Which land is their deliverance? Upon the land of Zion, right? Isaiah 40 and 11, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, he shall gather the lambs with his arm. Who is the strong arm of the Lord? Daughter Zion. And carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Isaiah 63 and 11. Now, then he remembered the days of old. You children of Israel are going to remember the days of old. Moses and his people saying, Where is, the, is he that brought them out of the sea? with the shepherd of his flock where is he that put his holy spirit within him he used moses to deliver the people the children of israel from egypt right now psalm 78 and 52 but made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock he's coming to save you but he's going to use someone to do it ezekiel 36 and 38 as the holy flock as the flock of Jerusalem in her solemn feast. What? Awake, awake, put on strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. All right, people of God. So shall the waste cities be filled with flock of men, and I and the Lord 
and they shall know that I am the Lord. What is it? As the holy flock, as the flock of Jerusalem in her solemn feast. Now, Joel 2 and 15, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast and call a solemn assembly, solemn feast. Joel 2 and 16, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Joel 2 and 17, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep with, between the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to the reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among them the people, where is their God? Now, Psalm 77 and 20, Thou leads thy people like a flock by the hands of Moses and Aaron. God uses somebody to deliver his people. Now, I, Ezekiel 37 and 21, And say unto them, Thus says the Lord, God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they ha they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. Micah four and Micah two, Micah chapter two verse twelve. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozrah, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noises by reason of the multitude of men. Ezekiel 34 and 13, And I will bring them out from among the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. Ezekiel 11 and 17, Wherefore say, Thus says the Lord God, I will even gather you from among the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. Isaiah 56 and 5 Even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than of, of the sons and, and of the daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the strangers that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, every one that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it and takes hold on my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain. Where is God's holy mountain? Mount Zion. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifice shall be accepted upon my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. That's why it says, let us go. Is Jeremiah 50 and 5. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten, even the Gentiles. Now, Psalms 53 and 6, O oh, that salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when God brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Now, Isaiah 51 and 11, Therefore the, Lord rede the, therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, his holy mountain, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. And um, Micah 4 and 2. And many nations. See, because God said, even the nations are going to come. Whoever takes hold on his covenant, his Sabbath from polluting and takes hold on his covenant. Even the nations. Right? So many nations shall come and say, and say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, his holy mountain and the house of our God. The house of the God of Jacob. Didn't he tell you his house is a house of prayer? And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion, the woman, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. 
And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Isn't that what God told you in Isaiah? Even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place in the name better than the, better than the sons and daughters. And I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the Lord, to love the name of the Lord, to be his servant. Everyone that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it and takes hold on my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. His house is a house of prayer. He said they can come. They can come. And to the house of God of Jacob is a house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar. For my house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. Not these prideful, wicked Israelites who are saying that God is just for them. God is a God of all nations. They're racist and they're prideful. And God said, choose none of your oppressors ways. Just because other nations were racist to you does not mean you're supposed to take up their bad ways. It's not of God. You are supposed to teach the nations righteousness, not to pick up the ways of your oppressor. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord God, which gathered the outcasts of Israel, says, yet will I gather others to him. So not God's not just gathering others to him as well. Those who do what? That keep the Lord's Sabbath from polluting it and take hold on his covenant. Even them God will bring to his holy mountain. Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. Now in 1 Samuel 10 and 18 and said unto the children of Israel, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I will... I brought up Israel out of Egypt and delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all kingdoms and of them that oppressed you. How did God do that? God did that by, he did that by Moses. Moses was the one calling down the judgment. God is, works great in his people. I'm just trying to go up to the scripture. So I can reference it. Psalm 77 and 20. Thou leads thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. So God does this. And he did that to deliver you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all kingdoms and of them that oppressed you. 